is so stupid it's positively brilliant. How do we articulate to to the youth that what they feel is useless and meaningless? <laughs> Like literally meaningless. Don't pay no attention. Also, you're not entitled to an opinion. You don't deserve an no, opinion. No, you can have yes, an, you no, an opinion. No, 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 no. You can have an opinion. It's just meaningless. Yeah. Like how you feel means nothing. How I feel means nothing. How you feel means nothing. How you feel means nothing. Our feelings really mean fucking nothing. Well, you can't. It's easy to say, but when you got motherfucking people reacting to what people are saying on social media and you got celebrities apologizing and, you know, people backtracking on stuff and people losing and dumb stuff. Yes, you make you feel like your opinion is validated. Like, it mm -hmm. doesn't feel like your, your word means you something. You should have to earn an opinion in public. I don't think you should just... Be you used to be, you used to be you able to. Take it seriously. You used to be able no, to. When, I, I, when words yeah. on paper, you used, to, you, used to, you used to have to pay for that shit. Yeah. Magazines, books, all that type of stuff. And that was the only way you could get media. Yeah. You used to have to earn your opinion. Like, why do I care what this person has to say? Oh, well, he wrote this, this, that, and the third. He did this. Let right. me read that now. Now way, everybody has that shit. Yeah, and podcasts wouldn't exist if that was the case, Akash. Because you got a whole bunch of motherfuckers just opening up microphones and talking and giving their opinion. Well, as a stand-up, <laughs> I feel like I earn an opinion because I go on stage and I say what I feel, and 95% of the audience can kick my ass and I still say it. So, <laughs> I feel like I, I don't earn think a opinion. lot of people know you a stand-up, though. Well, they're going to find out. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like but that. at the same time, it is something that you're doing, right? Like, yeah. there is some sort of qualification. I disagree with you. I think anybody should be able to have an opinion. But I think that if we need fire. to... it's fire. It don't mm. matter if it's fire or not. I think we just need to realize that, like, just uh, your opinion is meaningless. Like, when people There's no say, power behind there's it. There's nothing. It means nothing. It, yeah. it means nothing. It's just only, it only... Away, it means nothing. No, I don't think... I don't like think it, restaurant. I don't, like, the fact that you can review restaurants on Yelp, <laughs> what kind of fat fucking loser <laughs> is so like bothered by their restaurant experience that they're going to go on Yelp and write a fucking review. Not gonna lie, I love a good Yelp review. Fuck. <laughs> I love a good Yelp review, oh, guys. I hate it. I will go read a few I Yelp reviews. I hate it. Reviews. I'm not going to lie to you. Crazy. I, sometimes I hate read them. Well, the, uh, the wait staff was all right. <laughs> you need to give a mediocre fucking Yelp review, bro. You need to take your time and do that. Unbelievable! I did a man. show for Yelp, and I told them, guys, I don't even respect professional critics, dude. What the fuck makes you think amateurs. I'm gonna respect amateur? No. Work for free, dude, critics. That's a great point. Even like when we look at professional critics, when we literally look at yeah. the movie critics, all these people. Who are the professionals them, now, though? Son, let, I gotta show this this image. Did you guys see what happened with the fucking? Um, not only Dave Chappelle, but there's another. Okay, so. There were two documentaries or two things. One was the Dave Chappelle thing, Rotten Tomatoes. You guys know what Rotten Tomatoes yeah. is? Yeah. Okay, so Rotten Tomatoes gives, first of all, no score to oh, Dave gosh. Chappelle, right? Like right. the tomato meter or whatever. Yeah. Now, they do two scoring systems. One is by their reviewers, yeah. whatever, and then the other is by the people. They got a lot of flack for not giving any score for Chappelle, so they let seven people review it. The score was 24%. Then they let the people review it. 100%. 99%. <laughs> and see, that's my problem. And this is what we got to start realizing. Social media, the internet, that shit is not really the market, bro. I don't no. give a fuck what people it's think. Like, that point. shit is not the very market. That shit Hard to keep in mind because it's so in your face, though. Yes, but mm. it's not the market. Yeah. The market will always determine whether or not you're good because that shouldn't even be fair. At the end of the day, people should be critiquing Dave Chappelle's art. Yep. They should be Sorry. critiquing Andrew's art. They should be critiquing Kaz's thighs. Like, they should be critiquing <laughs> like what, what it is that we do. Right. Fuck if you're offended by it. Fuck if words. Fuck all that. D was it good? Yep. That's it. Um, I knew Rotten Tomatoes was, knock, was some this shit. Knock when, Down the House. Have you guys heard of this documentary? The what? Knock Down the House. Have you heard of this? Was that about Three Little Pigs? <laughs> <laughs> What's it about? It's about uh, the squad. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but maybe Trump calls him that. <laughs> oh, the squad. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, so, yeah got But it. it's right. it's it was on Netflix, right? Exactly. Right. So or something. And uh, the tomato meter, which is the in-house version for Rotten Tomatoes, one hundred percent. The audience score, thirty-five percent. Dave Chappelle's tomato meter, twenty nine percent. The audience score, ninety nine percent. The point is, there is an agenda, and these companies are attached to a bigger Hollywood matrix, and they decide what the fuck is good and what the fuck isn't good. And the beauty of the internet is, they are watching this shit crumble 
right in front of them, dude. Mm. Like yep, their whole true. their whole way of like molding what we like and what we enjoy and what content is good and the the, the stars that they want to be stars. All that power is falling apart right in front of their eyes and is absolutely hilarious to watch. Because the power is truly with the fucking people. That's it. And you know who needs to learn this Twitter shit the most is advertisers. If they learned what you're saying, Twitter isn't the market. It's not the market, baby. Who we don't need to respond to some angry tweets that are outraged. It's then a market. Everything it's goes back to the normal. market. It's it's, it's a it's sm- the, I think it's, it's a, a small small, small yeah. slither of. A market. And Every I, article that's this is outrage, it's like five tweets from people being outraged. And then you <laughs> got right. enough for an article, and then the article yes. gets enough more people to be like, well, well I'm a little. Then you got a thousand people. people. It's a thousand. I read an article this morning. Fat women with short hair. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the only people writing these articles, and they're the only people that have complaints about these opinions. If Anytime you I see just those ignore articles. them. Anytime I see those articles, I'm reminded why Beyonce hates her fans. Oh, 100%. <laughs> yeah, but you got some people nowadays, man. Like their opinion, like you know, we, you know, how we, you know, how we clown Magic Johnson because yeah. Magic Johnson says the most obvious shit. Yes, you got a group of woke tank, cl- woke tank clan, right? <laughs> woke and, tank and, clan and, and woke tank clan. That's I know good. exactly what their take is going to be yeah, on Lord. any situation, and I hate it because I got friends that are in the woke tank clan, and Same. I'm like, I do, I hate you right Same. now. You know why I hate you? Because I talk to you, <laughs> and I, I know, know you. what you. Really? Thank you, you fucking performer. God. Stop already. It's a brand now. It's a, yes. it's a brand. It is people whack. Get, once I seen people, once I seen like woke warriors getting repped by like CAA and shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, for what? Like, where are you getting? You getting business to do this? I'm like, it's a brand for you now. Like, I know you. Like, I know how you think. I've had conversations with you. We drink together. I know how yes. you really think about a lot of this shit. But I know you're following. I know how you pay your bills and I know you have to say certain things and write certain things because that is what you've cultivated. Yo, but you know why it's whack? like shit when you do that? Like manipulating a bunch of people making them feel horrible about themselves? I can tell you exactly when they're going to feel it. They're going to feel it when eventually those guns turn on them because what they don't understand oh, about it's, oh, it's a yeah. circular it's firing squad. That yeah. woke shit that shit is a circular firing squad because as soon mm. as you say something that they don't yep. like yeah. brrr, they shooting at you now they don't fuck with you they fuck with your opinion mm. and the second your opinion diverges from what they agree with yep. you are part of the food that's you're what part absolutely. of the buffet mm. and they can get their retweets off based on you that's why the, here's the thing about what I've realized about woke, uh, the woke folk and the people who run the woke folk it's the <laughs> easiest way to get a following Right, because you tweet some woke shit, motherfuckers will retweet it because yep. they all want a virtue mm-hmm. signal. Look what a good person I am. But it's the quickest way to lose. Me. Oh, for sure. Mm-hmm. Think it about the people who've gotten following. it this year, bro. They gave it to Sean King. They gave it to Lena Wave. Sean King always gives it, but they give it to Lena Wave. Yeah. Wait, what happened? What happened with that? Uh, oh, they came at Lena. What? Dude from uh, dude from Straight Outta Compton. This Jason shit Mitchell. On the show. Jason Mitchell. Right, right, right. Bro, right. they get. They trying to. They trying <laughs> to. Get, <laughs> they trying to get Jay Z the fuck out of here. Think about Once it. I saw that yeah. shit, I was like, I'm, I'm done. I was fucking done after that. I was so glad I was on the podcast during that whole Jay Z <gasps> Kaepernick shit. I was like, I'm fucking done with you. Where were you, bro? I was home. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was home chilling, bro.